Seven Problem Solvers works to give you a voice, getting answers to your consumer problems. This past weekend was another stressful one for travelers after a few thousand flights were canceled nationwide. So new this morning, Seven Problem Solver Michael Schwartz looking into answers for local travelers. Two straight April weekends, more than 3,500 flights canceled. It was a very frustrating experience. Chris Falzerano was flying from Aruba back to Rochester two weeks ago. After waiting 90 minutes on the tarmac, his layover at JFK canceled. Pilot gets on and says he was informed that by the time he would get to Rochester, he would have timed out and exceeded his nine hours, so he had to return to the gate. Up all morning, hundreds waited for further instruction. It took until 5 a.m. when Chris's husband finally got in touch with a JetBlue rep for a 9 a.m. flight back home. But last month, Michael Culleton wasn't as lucky, trying to get from Fort Lauderdale back home to Buffalo. We ended up driving. His JetBlue flight delayed, then canceled minutes before takeoff. 20 minutes before takeoff. Culleton says he was told the next flight out wouldn't be until three days later. They offered no hotel vouchers. They offered no rental car vouchers. They offered no additional flight vouchers. And he's certainly not alone. According to FlightAware, in a span of 10 days from March 31st to April 9th, JetBlue canceled its 9.40 p.m. flight from Fort Lauderdale to Buffalo 50% of the time. Four of the other days, that flight was delayed. You know, Michael, critics have said that some of these airlines just planned very poorly, and in some cases, they have planes in the wrong places. ABC News transportation correspondent Gio Benitez has been tracking travel trends since the start of the pandemic. Now airlines are scrambling. He says staffing issues go beyond just the airline. You also have the air traffic control towers. So you have air traffic control tower issues. You have staffing issues at the airlines too, and then you have weather that we've seen, and some of these airlines are having a really tough time keeping up. JetBlue telling me, quote, we remain staffing constrained despite hiring more than 3,000 new crew members this year. The airline saying in a statement, we sincerely apologize to our customers for these disruptions, and we are working to cancel flights in advance whenever possible so they have time to adjust their plans and do not need to show up to the airport. We actually canceled, Michael, two additional trips that we were planning to go to Key West in May. I just don't have confidence in the airlines right now. JetBlue tells me in a statement the airline is anticipating a challenging month now here in April, but bringing on hundreds of new crew members each week to prepare for summer travel. As for choosing a flight, you may notice fewer options. JetBlue says it's reducing its schedule from May through summer to be able to handle the passer load. For now, at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, Michael Schwartz, 7 Problem Solvers.